Chai 17. Second arch, cleft and part derivatives and anomalies. Item 1. The second uh, iod arch, mesodon, gives rise to the chest cartilage, the precursor to part of the body and lesser horns of the hyoid. The step is superstructure, stylo process, and stylohyoid ligament. The helis and antihelis are other connected tissue structures derived from the second mesoderma arch. Muscular derivatives include the muscles of facial expression, the sapidius, stylohyoid, and posterior belly of the gastric. The second arch artery, oven vestigial, may persist as the stapedia or lingual arteries, which is significant when encountered during stapes surgery. Item 2. Anomalies of the second arch consist of absent or malformed auricle, commonly seen, or ossicles a muscular asymmetry of the face. Item 3. Ectoderm of the second cleft gives rise to the epidermis of the dorsal half of the auricle and the upper neck as well as cranial nerves 7 and 8. Second cleft cysts, sinuses and fistulas result from the anomalous failure to obliterate the second cleft by the inferior extension of the second arch, creating a putative temporary, temporary structure, the cervical sinus of his. Ectodermally derived, epithelial lines of the second cleft are typically below the mandible. Item 4. Second pouch endoderma epithelium lines the root of the tongue and part of the pharynx, as well as the palatine tarsal surface and crypts, the foramen cecum and the thyroid stalk. Faulty development of these derivatives results in thyroglossal cysts, sinuses and fistulas, as well as lingual thyroid. Lateral tonsillar fossa sinuses opening into the tonsillar crypts likewise develop. A complete fistula, as previously described, is a combined second cleft and pouch anomaly. Item 5. 